and today we're repairing the cooling system. Um, it has been leaking for a few days, so we're going to repair the flange of the inlet flange and the outlet flange. Can you please come a little bit closer that you can show the viewers? So as you can see here, here by the bluish and the green part, that's where it's been leaking. This is the intercooler. And then come the side. We're also going to, we're going to replace the seal here. And that's all we'll be doing today. Three. Yeah, so for replacing the inlet and outlet flange, I went out and bought the following. A coolant. I bought the inlet flange, the outlet flange, and we're going to need a couple of tools, pliers, a spanner, a star, and a flat, and the... A silicon. Okay, guys, now we're gonna do the inlet, and I got my 13 spanner and uh, my my screwdrivers and my pliers. So I'm looking at the flange right now, so I know that I have to remove this pipe. So I'm gonna use my flat screwdriver, or you can use a star if you want to use it. So we're just gonna unloosen it. Just be careful, it might be hot because we left the car to cool for about. 20 minutes now, but I think I can work with that. So just unscrew that. Just make sure that you don't unscrew it all the way out. Because when you do that, it might be a little bit of a problem. So you must just check if you can just maneuver it so that this clamp can just go all the way down. Struggling a bit. Yeah, now I've unscrewed and tightened the, the, the clamp. So I'm just gonna move it a little bit down. Don't let it go all the way out, but it's okay and now just gonna jerk this pipe a little bit you must be careful you might burn your hands so just jerk it jerk it jerk it jerk it and there we go don't be scared you're gonna lose a couple of water just make sure that you have an interfreeze to refill your water again so now the flange is leaking so uh, it's a good thing don't worry don't worry don't worry about it it's the water that you're gonna replace sadly this is not a 13 this might be a, a 10 spanner. So I'll uh, just go into my toolbox and get that. Um, yeah, let me just do that. So I'm tight and tight, unscrewing that. Just make sure that you don't drop this nut. And knowing you, my South African friends, you like working in the dust. Make sure you're not working in the dust. So what I like to do, just keep it here. I just like keeping my nuts here because I know that I won't lose them that very easily. As I can see, my previous owner didn't have a nut here, so I'm uh, just gonna work my way through this. Okay, it's quite tight, by the way. It's quite tight space to work in. Quite tight space. Pull that a little bit, it's quite tight, it's quite nice. And do that one as well. Speaking of which, this flange is kind of like a little bit dirty. Unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. Yeah, it's not hot. It means uh, my water has been cooled long enough. It's been cooled long enough. Just be careful that you don't drop anything. Like I said, don't drop anything. But I dropped, but luckily, I'm working on a nice surface. I can just go under the car and find what I'm looking for. As you can see, my flange is a little bit gone. The seal is gone. I need to replace this. But, but, there's another way to do this. I don't have a new flange. So, I'm going to use a gasket so I can get a new gasket because I really need a new rubber. It means my rubber here, it's gone seal so probably i can replace this seal let me just check it out until you're on the okay now i'm going to remove this flesh here so uh what i'll do 
try to remove this clip here just be careful don't it's a nice little clip nice thing you just press and you pull uh, second step uh, a trick that I learned from one of my friends removing this here I'm gonna need to apply just make sure that remove this here because uh, it holds there by the flinch you just don't wanna okay and then so the person who did this here give me a hell of a job Oh snap, oh snap, oh snap, oh snap. Okay, we'll do that a little bit later. Um, take your flat screwdriver, this one here. Unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. All the way, not all the way out, all the way so that you can work. Very easy, not a difficult job. Not a difficult job. Remember that we're gonna come back here. So, tin spanner. Woo, that was tight. Okay, remove this so we don't damage it. Some leg root. So, to get some working space, I'm gonna remove my distributor cap. Place it around there so I can get some working space. Ooh, that was that was talked really nicely, but it's decaying. Show you talk doesn't work that well sometimes. You need fresh seals. You can write your comments down below. Tell me what you think. What jobs you want us to do. And then on our next video so we can show you how to do it don't be scared just tell us and we'll let you know also we have a mazda 323 in SA we call them seller sellers so if you want to see some work done on it as well just let us know we'll show you what to do on it and what problems you have no stress and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel the link is down there so you can see our latest videos when we do post. I'm almost done. Okay, there we go. It's out. You can see the rust. So you must clean here when you're done. So remember I said I'll do this later. Just take a plier. The trick I'm gonna show you. You press it. Take it forward. Don't take it back. Because it's really difficult to take it back when you have it here. Because now it's all stretched out. So what I do, I do this. There we go. And I just pull it out. Oh snap. It did what it, it I didn't want it to do. But it's fine. We can put it back. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, here's the seal. You can see this. It's already gone. So the water uh, uh, is escaping from here. So it means we have to go get a new seal. We go into the space just. Okay, I guess as you can see, now uh, it's a bit dirty here. So we have to clean it up. I'm using a little bit of some paper to remove the old stuff here. Just give us some work. Just make sure nothing falls too much in there. So 
some old paper. So this guy had gasket here, as you can see. side now you can clean this side as well just make it a little bit smooth so when that gasket sits doesn't doesn't have a little bit of a play so it sits nice and firm so now we're gonna and just clean up afterwards eh? uh, so now we're gonna reassemble everything so we're gonna put in the new flange and the in and the out so I'll show you how to just just put some gasket uh, silicone on it and just to give it a little bit of a strength on it. Okay, let me just show you just now Okay, uh, this is my other flinch So as you can see just make sure That Everything matches so we must just check double check with everything that uh, everything sits well the holes are there everything like your double coolant coolers so it sensors so you have two of them usually some guys have two of these sensors just in case so I just have one so yeah you can see but another thing I can tell you you can just re replace the seal so where I went they were so kind enough to sell me the whole flinch for a really good price so if you have such a dealer just go through it but just the seal alone can cost you around about 20 bucks so yeah it's really it's quite cheap it's not an expensive thing to do so what you're going to do take this new seal do this take that just a little bit not too much and just smear it on the edges there just smear it just giving it that extra protection because you never know with these seals eh? you never know some trick I learned as I do these things yeah and that's it that's it Go on there. Take out these two days here. Just use a, a screwdriver, just pull it out. It's very easy. Pull out. Oh snap. Ah, I'll pick it up just now. Just a young twist. Take some sandpaper. Just take out that rust. This is copper by the way, don't worry. Give it a yarn tree. It sits well. Lock. Just push it. It's locked. But uh, yeah. Oh, forgot to tell you guys. Um, these things have a flip, a young rubber seal. Mind my clumsiness. Just 
just make sure when you take it off, to take out the that seal as well. As you can see, mine's already worn out. I need to replace it, but right now I don't have one, so I'm just gonna place it there, and later on replace it. It's very easy. Just pull out that, lift off the sensor, put it, put a new seal. But usually, when you buy a new one, it comes out with a new seal. So this one's still fairly new, so it's not that old. It still works. So see, it shouldn't have any play. It should sit very nicely. There we go, twist it so you can sit the way you want it. Clip, and there you go. And take out the other one, just a little bit of a nudge. Um, let me get my screwdriver. Just take your screwdriver, give it up, 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 wiggle, wiggle. And there we go. Also has a seal, so it's just clean, firm, clean it. So this is a stopper, by the way, a breather. They call it, but I call it a stopper. Just, just be careful. Don't just push it because you don't want it to not sit well. It will sit perfectly. Might be a little bit stiff. Well, seems like it's too big. Okay, we're done. So everything is fitted. Make sure everything is fitted properly. So, and then the other one is tighter. Don't forget to fill up your your antifreeze. Depending on how much water you last, I don't know how much you need, but you can mix the antifreeze with water. The antifreeze, the coolant is just to cool the car much quicker, so that it doesn't overheat. So always use the right coolant. Uh, okay, that's it.